Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you six of the easiest recipes to make in your Instant Pot. So I'm Kristen, I am the second sister from SixSisterStuff.com and every Monday I'm sharing with you a new Instant Pot recipe. Now I got a lot of comments that many of you got an Instant Pot for Prime Day, which is so exciting. So this post is to help you be able to make some new recipes in your Instant Pot. Now these recipes are very simple and easy and very basic. They're especially for the new beginners. Now also to make things a little bit easier for those who just got an Instant Pot, I have a new Instant Pot Facebook group that I'm gonna put a link in the description that you can join. And there I'm hoping to share some fun Instant Pot recipes. If you have any questions, um, it's just a little community where people can share their favorite Instant Pot recipes. So I figure we could just help each other out a little. All right guys, let's head to the kitchen and I'll show you how to make all six of these easy Instant Pot basic recipes. All right, the first one is corn. I think this is my most used recipe right now because I love having corn in the summertime. Now, if you've never made corn in the Instant Pot, now's the time to do it. You don't have to watch it, you don't have to wait for it. So I took one cup of water and I threw four ears of corn on. You could add probably one more in a six quart Instant Pot. Now if you're using a three quart one, go ahead and split the corn in half. If you're using an eight quart, you can add more corn if you want. All right, we're gonna close the lid and put it on sealing. And now for my favorite part, because it really doesn't take a lot of time, I'm gonna push manual and go all the way down to five minutes. Now, once it's done, I do a quick release so I can eat my corn faster. But if you do need to wait a little bit, it is fine just to sit in the Instant Pot until dinner is ready. So I take my lid off and my corn is perfectly done. Number two, boiled eggs. Now I loved boiled eggs, but making them in the Instant Pot makes it so much easier. So I just poured one cup of water right into the Instant Pot. Now I have this little thing, this trivet that came with my Instant Pot. You can also use a steamer rack or something else, but this one holds about six of them. So I'm gonna close up my lid, then make sure the knob is on sealing, not venting. I love my manual button, so I'm pushing manual and we're going to five minutes. Now when it's done, you wanna let it sit let the timer go up for about five minutes before you turn on venting and take the lid off. Now the trick with boiled eggs is, is that you want to put them in ice water as soon as that five minutes is up and let them sit for a few minutes until they're cool. Then peeling them is a breeze since it's been sitting in that ice water. Now if you can see, cut this open, it is the perfect boiled egg. Number three, the sweet potato. So I'm gonna do three sweet potatoes here. So I'm putting these on the rack this time and I added one cup of water. Now I'm just gonna put the lid on and as you know, sealing, not venting, so it will pressurize. Now I'm just gonna push manual and go up to 15 minutes to cook sweet potatoes. Now I did a quick release and pulled the lid right off, but for some reason my camera wasn't filming, so I apologize about that. Now these sweet potatoes are done. They're a little bit more firm than I like, so I'm actually gonna put my lid back on and cook them for another five minutes. But I like my sweet potatoes really, really soft. So if you like them a little bit more firm but still cooked all the way through, cook them for 15. If you like them really soft, cook them for 20. You can serve these different ways. You could peel them and mash them up and have mashed sweet potatoes or last week I made a delicious sweet potato chicken recipe. I'll put a link in the description for you if you didn't see it. Number four, the baked potato. I love baked potatoes in the summer because it's fast and easy. And in your Instant Pot, you don't have to turn on the oven. So I'm gonna take my potatoes and stab them because I don't want them to explode at all because I want them to be nice and pretty so the baked potato will actually look good. Now I'm using the little thing that came with my Instant Pot. If you don't have one of those, go ahead and just put your potatoes right inside the water. They'll be totally fine. Now I'm gonna put the lid on, make sure that it's on sealing, not venting, and I'm gonna do manual again because really that's all I use. Manual and we're going up to 12 minutes. Now I like to do a quick release because I don't like my potatoes soggy at all. So as soon as the 12 minutes up, 
go ahead and quick release and let those things go. All right, so the potatoes are completely done and they smell so good. Now you can do so many things with these potatoes. You can make a potato salad, you can mash them up and make mashed potatoes, you can make baked potatoes, but one of my favorites are these taco potatoes. I literally pretend like my potato is a taco and I put all of the ingredients on top. I'm telling you, it is delicious. Number five, white sticky rice. Now you can make your rice different ways. You can use oil, you can use salt, but I just use two simple ingredients, which are rice and water. Now there are recipes that call for oil and salt. I'll also put those in the description below for you so you can have all of your rice recipes right in the description. Okay, so onto the recipe. I have one cup of rice that I rinsed until the water ran clear. So this is my cup of rice and I'm just gonna put it right in the bottom of my Instant Pot. All right, next I'm gonna add my water. So for one cup of rice, I like to add one and one fourth cup of water or chicken broth or any type of liquid that I wanna cook my rice with. The most simple basic recipe is just water. So one cup of rice to one and a fourth cup of water. Now I like my rice a little bit softer so that's why I do one and a fourth cup. Okay, we're gonna put my lid on and make sure your knob is on sealing, not venting. Now if your Instant Pot has a rice cooker, you can push that, but if it doesn't, you can just do manual or high pressure. That's what manual is, it's just high pressure. So because I love my manual button, that's what I'm gonna push. All right, so with white rice, we are going down to eight minutes. Now you can go as little as four minutes, depending on how you like the texture. I like it really soft, so eight minutes it is. Then let the rice release on its own for nine to 10 minutes. Then when you're done with the nine to 10 minutes, you switch over the knob to venting and it should let out all the rest of the steam. Then you can just pull your lid off and it will be a little steamy but your rice should be fully cooked. Now this is how I make the sticky rice. I love sticky rice for recipes because it's just a lot easier to eat. But if you add a little bit of oil, it will make it a little bit harder so it won't stick together. And I'll put that recipe in the description below for you. But for me, I love my sticky white rice. And number six, chicken, whether it's frozen or thawed. Okay, so we're gonna start off here by, I put four chicken breasts inside the bottom of my Instant Pot. Then I'm adding one and a half cups of water. Now because this chicken is frozen, I'm gonna cook it just a little bit longer. So I'm gonna put my lid on, close it all the way, and then turn my little knob to sealing. Now I'm gonna push the manual button because I love the manual button and go up to 25 minutes. Now if you're gonna cook thawed chicken, I cook it between 15 and 20 minutes. Now when it's done, I move my knob over to venting so it's a quick release and then I take my lid off. I let it cool for a minute before I take my chicken out and I love to shred my chicken because today I am making chicken enchiladas and I want shredded chicken. All right guys, don't forget, go check out my Instant Pot Recipes Facebook group. I'm gonna put a link in the description for you. I'm hoping to build a community of Instant Pot lovers so we can share recipes with one another. All right guys, if you haven't done so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next Monday with a new Instant Pot recipe. All right, see you later, bye.